He joins us now live from the Lowndes County Courthouse with more. Quentin? Andre, a few of the residents I spoke with said they were actually surprised by Cologne's decision. Now, Cologne is very familiar with this case, this community, as well as law enforcement in the area. Now, I spoke with a few residents who say they agree with Cologne's decision. However, there are still some that say they disagree. A small crowd listened on as District Attorney Scott Cologne announced his decision to allow a special prosecutor present the deadly police officer involved shooting death of Ricky Ball to a grand jury. In the crowd was one of Ball's uncles, Albert Ball. He's supporting Cologne's choice. Well, you know, we, we really just want the truth, you know, regardless of uh, who be the attorney, I mean, the DA. But um, we wait, you know, patiently, kind of getting a little discouraged, but. Um, we want to hear the truth, and um, I guess it wouldn't matter if, if the other DA is fair. Lowndes County NAACP President LaVon Harris believes Cologne's decision to bring in an independent prosecutor is a good choice for the community. Well, actually, I think it's a good move by the, uh, the district attorney to turn it over to Attorney General because uh, it's been so outgoing with it, and it's so much, and I know Scott have a lot of uh, connection with the police department from before he came district attorney. I believe in what the DA is, that he speaks the truth, so I do believe that and I feel that if they have reached that decision, I would stand behind it because I think it's a very good move. Transparency is one reason some people are agreeing with Cologne. Well, I feel Scott have did his job. He's uh, the district attorney. It was turned over to him. He said he went through it. It was three binders. There's a lot of information. And like you said, well, like I'm saying, that if he continue to handle the case, I feel then, don't you think that the community would be looking for him to go and uh, be on the ball side? It kind of, it takes it away from the power of our local officials in the local city and just move it on. I think it's a good decision. However, some residents disagree. They believe Cologne should have presented the case to a grand jury. We, as citizens of Columbus, we elected him you know, to do a job, but now you pushing it to someone that's, that's not what we, uh, you know, voted you in for. That we, we voted you in, you know, to handle stuff because everything you can't just throw off and give it to someone else. Now, during his press conference, Cologne says he will turn all officer-involved shootings over to the Attorney General's office as long as he's the district attorney. For now, I'm live in Columbus. Quentin Smith, back to you in the studio. All right, Quentin, thanks a lot. Well,